Mm. Oh, I see. Jeez. Whew. That was actually pretty fun. I like that. Of course, can't go in for employee's entrance. Anyway, back here. Ammo. Appreciate it. How much do I have now? 25. Good, good, good. I still got 19 shells, so we good, we good. Let's head back to this. We still don't have any key for this. Yeah. As for how we do that, that's another thing. This is not a drill, but key is found within. The key is found within. Oh, we're about to have another flashback. Three, two, one. No, not yet. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. Oh, yeah, our HP is low. How did our HP get so low? This is about to be the flashback. Like a party of some kind? I'm guessing probably didn't go too well. Staying low just to PK. Just to be safe. They're all popping. That's not a good sound. Uh. Ow! There we go. Do I have a key? Gas! Okay, uh. Good thing we have a gas mask. Okay. Elf. More HP. Go. Keychain A, keychain. What? Okay, got a lot of keychains now. Uh, but what do I use them on? Hey, well, it's a good thing we actually have the keys. Going in. I've got to get in there. Uh, to try. Okay, that one worked. Good, good, good. Are you serious? In here too? Well, we got the keychain, so that's good. We made it through. That's a, that was a tough one. Oh, right here. That's a tower. And we got the keys. So let's use them. I need to get to the watchtower. Mm-hmm. 
This one is definitely easier to get to than the, than the water tower one. Let's get the next code. Definitely have a feeling an effect from all this. Elysium State Park Fire Watcher Guide. Persona to commission this facility. Church. Okay, this is just about the different locations that we're going to. Oh, I see. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> so that's what goes up here. Okay, so which stars? Which ones? What, none of them? on the other side. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Zero, four, nine, three, seven, zero, eight, one, zero, zero one, one, five, six, two, zero, one. Oh, okay, that's all. Okay, so it's seven. So, some. So, seven, nine. Okay, we got two out of four to code. We're almost there. Come on, let me grab it. Thank you. Okay, let's get out of here. Two more. To go, and then we're done. And this is where the last key comes in. No use. Or not. Okay, if it's that one, then what about the second keychain? Gotta be used for it somewhere here. I think I know where. Yeah, I think I see it from here. There was one small little path that we couldn't go to because we didn't have the key. Yes. We have the key now. So where does this really is locked? Where does this lead? Oh. Those are claymores. I'm not claymores. Those are mines. Oh. I hurt. I hurt a lot. Ow. Those mines are deadly. Textional. Nice. The only one that's on level 3 is the stamina. We still need to get the health and speed other ones. Are you? I hate you. The Disillusion Field, now I see the realm of virtuous dead and the realm of heroes being one and the same. A song of triumph, three times the winner of passage through this neverworld, and on to my eternal fourth. Unknown. Okay. I'm down to 3 4 HP. I need to take a few of these. Yeah, take another one. You know what? Just for. Do no one. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's go back on the path we were doing before. Thank you, thank you. Milton Haven shrouded in uncertainty. Life in Milton Haven has noticeably changed. A strange, unexplained sense of dread hangs in the air. People are on edge these days. Present company included, said Joseph Merrick, as he sipped from a glass of tap water. Oh no, we know that got contaminated. I'm usually sharp as a tack, but lately my mind has been all over the place. Yep, because the Agent Rainbow got into the water supply. 
The town's crime rate has more than tripled in the past few weeks. The things that lurk in the darkness of men's heart have come to light, said Ted Krill, the local priest. Monsters and madness are punishment for our sins. Some residents have also reported hearing strange voices of unknown origin. Some science lady popped into my head and started asking me questions. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Said one resident who requested her to remain anonymous. While the origin of this recent trend is currently unknown, there's one question that lingers in the minds of people of Milton Haven. When will it end? Good question. Sadly enough, I don't have an answer. Okay, if I were back at the beginning for some reason. So there must be another route we need to take to get to those two. It's the only thing I can think of. Did I shoot that player? up. Don't tell me about more you guys are here. Yeah, now it's time for me to skedaddle. That's my ear itches and my headphones about to fall off. Gotta be Kimmy. If I shoot this, uh oh. Okay, I guess it didn't get his attention. Nom. Nom. Kinda. It does look like he's heading our way a bit, so we need to be careful. Okay, let's head right this way, which is where he's looking. Turn them off. I see. They've been. Oh, they're being protected. He covered them. You sneaky devil. I might need to use stealth. Come on, soldier, please just go. He's hitting back. I think I'm in the clear. Yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> that was fun. I actually used stealth that time because he had his uh his uh thingamabobbers covered up. They were blocked, so I couldn't try and hack him. But he's still nearby, so we need to be real careful here. This is actually very fun. You know. Now that I'm thinking about it, is there actually, is there any, like, War of the World video games? Because I could definitely see, like, a stealth-focused War of the World video game. I could see that. I could, oh, crap. I could definitely, oh, you've got to be. Like I was saying, I could definitely see, like, a War of the Worlds video game. Like a stealth focused one, avoiding tripods, maybe battling against like survivors. I could see that. I could 100% see that. You gotta be kidding me. The big guys are here too. did neither of you guys die from any of those?
There we go. I didn't need to use too much ammo there. Good, good, good. So right here at the church. Oh crap, that's not good. The church is blocked. We need to find something else then. Oh, I didn't realize I was playing Fallout. Okay. I didn't realize I was playing Fallout. What was that sound? Well, I did not like that sound at all. That was not a good sound. Okay. It has to be in a specific order. Medusa, Icarus, Minotaur, Cyclops. Medusa, Icarus, Minotaur, Cyclops. Medusa, Icarus, Minotaur, Cyclops. Come on. There we go. Hmm. That was almost bad. Here's another radio wave. Oh, oh. Okay, four. There we go. Never code. Uh. Oh, that's dangerous being on top of a church. Right in front of a graveyard. Great. Well, so far it seems the code is four seven something four seven nine. We got one more number left, and oh, those are just some crows. Oh, okay. Broke my legs, but I'm okay. I think. Hopefully, probably not. Okay, that's actually very helpful. Looks fresh. This grave looks fresh. Okay, so what? Do I need a grave digger shovel? Shotgun shells were full. Oh, I'm now we're full. Okay, this is just the back entrance. Need a grave digger's shovel. Where can we get that? Okay, let's bring this out again. What's here? Oh. Aww. That's so sad. Oh, wait. Aww. Is Tonya actually dead? Aww. Or is it just... Oh, no. Is she gone? Aww, oh, that's sad. Go. Okay, yeah, we got four, seven, nine. Let's get that last one. But first, we kind of need to turn on its power. There we go. There we go. Do I need to use this on it? No. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, it's there we go. Oh, that's the elevator. That could have almost been bad. Okay. Let's go up and do this last one. You're 
not all there today, are you? Been staring out the window a lot. Uh, yes. I apologize. It's about that cat of yours. Tanya, right? I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? My name is Rosemary James. I She's one of the ones who is working on the agent. The radio waves. Rosemary James was one of the people who's working on ro on Rainbow Agents. She was one of the ones who proposed the idea of using radio waves in its connection to brain waves. We noticed because of what we read back in Max's. Okay, this file one. Two four seven nine. Two four seven nine. We have the code. We have what we finally need. And now we got a bit of contact from Rosemary as well, because she was one of the ones who was working on Rainbow Agent. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, we're about to fall down. Yep. Not good, let me out, let me out! See ya! Come on, come on, come on! Okay, uh, where, which way is it again to where we need to go? Force center? Playground? I don't remember. My playground, church. No, we're not trying to go to either of those places. Where is the bunker? The bunker is over here, where the flare is. We have what we need to finally finish it. We got to code 2479. Finally. Two, four, seven, nine. Two. Four. We did it. Can't see anything. Oh, great. What do I need to see in the glass? There's my answer. There we go. But before we go through there, let's head back and do all these doors now that we got them open. Start this first one. Here is actually working. We all have our doubts regarding Agent Rainbow. In its current state, it is an extremely volatile and dangerous fear-based weapon. But if we can make it work, make it stable, it could mean the end of conventional warfare. So many lives would be spared. I have to believe that Agent Rainbow will end up being a net positive, despite the sacrifices. I have to. Especially after what happened with the ship crash. In Alan's story? I can't help but feel that our experiments had something to do with it. It did. It did and got Alan killed.
Could effects from the agent have also been what helped cause Virginia to go right over the edge as well? It could have been. Agent Rainbow turns the people affected by it into a walking... Wait, this one's number three. Where's number two? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I was about to say, no, I don't want to go out of order. This is story stuff. Rather not go out of order. Here you go, number two. Since we've been confined to this bunker as a safety measure, there's not much else we can do but continue our research. Lately, I've been hearing voices on the radio. Are these the voices of people who have been affected by Agent Rainbow? Will if I yes, because they're because you can because when you did the experiments, you connected their brain waves to the radio waves. So yes. Agent Rainbow turns the people affected by it into a walking radio tower, transmitting and receiving knowledge and experiences to and from the collective unconscious. Mm -hmm. The people I've spoken to through the radio, they were able to describe to me in vivid detail places they've never been to, and people they've never met. It's like they have the internet inside their heads, and they're constantly uploading and downloading information. It's enough to drive anyone out of their minds. And it did for a lot of them. Elvers found a truth and tried to help help stop them, but failed, such as Max, Meyer, Alan, everyone, even Lucas. Recent discoveries made by my team have been groundbreaking to say the least. Agent Rainbow is so much more than what we believed it to be. Its original purpose is merely a, a side effect. Its true potential lies with its connection to the collective unconscious, this sort of metaphysical repository of knowledge and experience, accumulated through generations of existence and inherited by every human being upon their birth. Think about it. How do babies already know how to hold their breath underwater? Why do so many people have an innate fear of snakes? It's thanks to the collective Not snakes, but spiders, yes. Which spiders are. Which we're via our personal unconscious. Up until now, this connection was one-sided, but Agent Rainbow changes all of that. Not for the better, from what we found out. Not for the better, or the worst. Okay, number five. Rosemary, you can't be serious. This is your crown achievement. Our crown achievement. Our work with Agent Rainbow could change the course of mankind. You want to hide it? If you want to sabotage our own career, then so be it. But you don't get to take us down with you, Ashholm. Attention all staff. I'm invoking a strict no-talk policy regarding any and all information related to our recent discoveries. Until we fully comprehend the extent of Agent Rainbow's influence on the human mind and its implications, releasing such information for a formal review is completely irresponsible. One more left. Later, maybe. My request to terminate this research has been denied. Someone must have leaked our results to the higher ups because they're suddenly very, very interested in what we've been doing here. I, I can't let Meyer manipulate people's minds. I, I, I have to warn the people of Milton Haven of what's been happening. Mm-hmm. I have to find someone I can trust with this. Lucas, you tried to tell Lucas. I'm guessing they must have followed you and probably killed you both. And then you guys became permanent members of the unconsciousness. Oh, there is one more left. Number seven. Commander Chief United States Air Force Colonel Adam Clink, Fort Sonder Base, changed the experimental anti aircraft assault radar mounted atop Fort Sonder. Reboot the radar system in close proximity to a dish using a standard issue radio device. Target rotational beacons of your radio device in order to move the dish. Press the red fire button on the dedicated console once a target is in sight. Repeat the process for each new target. Oh, so this is probably how we're going to have to take down uh, Lucas in his giant form, I guess. I'm one more away from getting low free health. I'll come back for this if I need it. Oh, we will. Attention all staff, due to a clear breach of our information security policy, Rosemary James' time as a mayor project manager has come to an end. Now report directly to Mr. Ash Holm. No! The success and the safety of this research rely on your discretion. We'll soon know who Rosemary was talking to, Bill Bird. 
and they probably did find out and probably killed and probably killed Lucas because of it. And it's obvious Rosemary's dead too. Yep, of course, Mayor wanted to do it. He wanted to take all over people's mind. Manipulate them in such a way. Crap, he's here. Barely dodged that one. Am I stuck? Come on. Come on. I can't reach it. Destroy this for me. Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Can you blow this up for me too? Thank you. Oh, I get it. Oh, it's to help stun him. I think. I gotta keep him in one location. And fire on him. Nope. Hit him! Come on, hit him! Lucas, are you in there? Do you read, Lucas? Crap, that's not good. Crap, he's still firing. I don't need bullets. I need health. That's what I need. Okay, where are the... Uh oh I know now what happened to you was real. Yes, 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 yes. Let your past define you, or you can embrace it, learn from it. Okay, there's that one. Come on, where are you going? There we go. Sorry, Lucas. Whew. Okay, what now? I guess I need to find an exit. Oh, oh, he's climbing. Oh. 
you weren't crazy. You're right. It's okay. You're not alone. I believe you. See ya, Lucas. Lucas knew there was more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, people are starting to figure out. We need to make contact with him. And that's what started this. It's all Mayor's fault, as well as the creation of, well, Rainbow Agent. It was meant to be helpful, but instead they tried to make it into a weapon. Well, by all this happening, it's obvious that's what happened. Wait, is Lucas even dead? We don't know that yet. Holy hell! How are you doing this? Are, are you okay? I, I'm hanging in there, but I could use your help. Can you get to my office? <laughs> I read you loud and clear, brother. Help is on the way. Yeah, because we don't actually know if Lucas is dead or not, because it's obvious that it's all Virginia, Alan, now. and uh, Max died, but we never heard anything about Lucas, he might have actually still be alive. We might have just communicate with him. At least in the world, using the radio waves as brain waves. This is a lot more sciencey than I was expecting, but I like it. And it's all working so well. And it seems like we're about done Luke's tape, and then oh, probably our own character is left. I'd like to talk more about it during our next session. Wow, that's... thanks. Hey, uh, you know I... I conducted a little security check on your building today. It's pretty lax. Practically anyone could waltz in here and stash all sorts of ill-gotten goods. Drugs, weaponry, dinosaur bones. Doc? Oh, my daughter's camera's back. Go. Boom, boom, boom. You all right, Doc? You're not all there today, are you? Been staring out the window a lot. Uh, yes, I apologize. It's about that cat of yours, Tanya, right? I'm sorry. But, but, uh, Lucas, is everything all right? Rosemary. I'm sorry for your loss. She was very edible. I saw you bury her by the old church. I wasn't going to say nothing, but what got her? Curiosity? Yes. That and uh, yeah. So during this session, he got kind of a telekinetic call from Rosemary via Rainbow Agent. Okay, yeah. 
story is really coming together now. I'm finally understanding a lot more of this. And it's a lot more intricate than I was expecting, a lot more science-y. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> but I think we're almost done, because I think all's left probably our own character. Hey, Tanya. I'm back. So, it's all connected, is it? Yep. Through Sadly, Mayor and yes. Rainbow Agent. Had I listened to Lucas sooner, maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Mm -hmm. Well, you listen to him now, and he listened back. <laughs> I know. I, I never thought something like that was possible. Oh, he very much is, man. I hope I'm not hallucinating that Lucas is actually coming. Agent Rainbow makes a lot of things possible. Probably know who's calling. Son of a gun, you did it. Now, I do have a gun call from you in a good bit. Mono, don't you think? I'm leaving you something by the entrance to your building. Consider it a parting. We can finally use this device on the things on the rooftop, which I'm guessing is where we need to go next. Be careful. That trench coat wearing government spook is up to something. Oh, that's who he's supposed to represent. See you soon. Collect your package from first floor entrance. Well, that's going to be kind of hard to do. I mean, the place is literally just like... Wait, I do want to read... Lucas. Uh, let's see. Does the same thing about him being dead? No, so he might actually still be alive. That should be very helpful, actually. Bye, Tanya. Wait, no, I want to go to the rooftop first, because now we can use this device. I'm guessing we'll probably just get a few of the pills to help us, but that's still better than nothing. Yep, speed. Let's see what this one is. Another stamina. Stamina is now three plus one now. Good, good, good. Now let me make sure I didn't miss any other ones over here. Well, it's some, too small area for me to miss one, yeah. Okay. So, yep, now all that's left is our own story. Let's grab any healing item we can. We took quite a bit of damage from now. That one was a tough one, but it was a lot of fun. And it's connected so much to the story now. So it's about time we finish it. I'm curious to know how we're going to get out of this. Out of the power of Rainbow Agent. I'm guessing what we're getting is... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we do any of this, there's one last thing we need to do. We need Luke's vinyl. Now that we got his tool, we can use it. 